I will introduce my guest today, Jason Ward. Who's this cool cat with his glasses on? Cool oh, cat, yeah, yeah, cool for school. He's a co-owner of Star Tattoo in Corrales. Okay. And son of Ross Ward, who created Tinkertown Museum up in the East Mountains. I don't know if you guys have been there. You really have, have to check it out. So cool. Magical Excellent. place. Yeah, I love that place. <laughs> you grew up with that, yep. Jason? Yep. Did, you, really? dad, yeah. comes Did you grow up there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. What a cool place to explore. Yeah. yeah, it is. Excellent. Yeah, so um, Jason is one of the winners for Local IQ Smart List. We got him on the cover of one of the Local IQ yeah, issues. Yeah, that's him. There you are. are. Get, getting tattooed by my partner there, Chris Bartain. <laughs> Yeah, so these now guys you don't really have that tattoo, tattoo on your neck, right? No, <laughs> <Just kidding. laughs> no. No neck tattoos. <laughs> well, welcome to so, the show, by thank the way. You, Thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. Uh, yeah, uh, what do you call yourself, a tattoo artist? A tattoo tattooer, in, yeah. A tattooer? tattooer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just more traditional, older version of it. All right, well, how'd you get into this? Uh, I watched my dad get a tattoo when I was pretty young. Um, he was a sign painter and a graphic artist in general. And he traveled uh, painting carnival rides, like the big show fronts you'd see, amusement really? rides. And so as a pretty young guy in the 70s, you know, I was a little guy out on the road tagging along with him. Actually working, I'd get a, a quarter a hoof painting the uh, merry-go-round horses, oh. the feet. So, huh. you know, every uh, horse is a buck. So yeah. sit there yeah. painting <laughs> these hooves. And we were out on the road one summer, and he got tattooed by a real old tattooer in Texas, Singapore John. And that kind of just stuck with me. and. Years later, it just kept being this thing that was kind of magic. Ink was kind of magic to me. And so I was in college, and all my punk rock friends were like, oh, you can draw. Why don't you tattoo us? Yeah. You know? So that kind of led into an apprenticeship. I <laughs> finished up a fine arts degree at UNM and been working for 20 years now. Very nice. So yeah. what was your first tattoo? I have to ask you. Uh, my first tattoo was a little thing on my toe, just some little dots I did myself, which is some needle and thread. And yeah. that little tiny tattoo turned into there. all this yep. art. Yep, it kept going. Very cool. No stopping it. <laughs> and so you're working on somebody, applying a tattoo. And you mentioned to him, uh, by the way, I have a degree in uh, fine arts from UNM as, <laughs> as I'm doing this. You know. so, it, that gives you some credentials, doesn't it? Well, it's funny. I mean, sometimes it's really comforting when people look up. I have my little, you know, diploma on the wall, and sure, and they're like, "Oh, well, this is okay then. You're yeah. official," you know, <laughs> which is kind of funny. You know, it's not really a degree in tattooing. That's much different. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about Star Tattoo. You're the co-owner, and yep. how did Star Tattoo come to be about? Uh, myself and my business partner, Chris Partain, we've been friends forever. Um, we've grew up kind of in the music scene together. And we worked for a guy named Brian Everett at Route 66 Fine Line Tattoo for eight years. And then we decided to do our own thing. And I live on that, in the town, I'm out in the North Valley there. Okay. And so we wanted to kind of pave our own new kind of path. And so that's what we did. And it's been fantastic. It's so great. evidently there's competitions for this. And sure. And you've yeah. won something with local IQ. Yeah. And yeah. What, what kind of competitions are there there's, in the world of tattooing? Well, I mean, there are, uh, there's plenty of conventions around the world, you know, I there are that. large conventions and we've done some of that, but we've always kept it kind of local, you know, we kind of love being from Albuquerque. We love all the people we've tattooed in this community forever. You know, it's going on 20, 21 years I've been wow. tattooing people in Albuquerque, so. Huh. Yeah, it's pretty neat. And people vote you the best. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> best. We've, we've got a show. Uh, Siobhan, you didn't really have to go the extra mile yeah. for the I TV went, show. I was considering doing the morning brew on my knuckles. You were. Morn brew? Morn brew. Morn brew. But I, I went with something, you know, that Jason. Paul's going to get a shot of it on the. Uh, the I, I have another picture. Paul's still too. there. We'll get. Okay, there it is. My you little did that. Dia de los Muertos skull. Yeah. Well, so, Siobhan, you didn't have us. to do that for the show. <laughs> yeah. Darn, I said, I, but I have to, Jason. Please book me. I have to get on this for the morning brew if you're going to be my Gotta guest. Got to do it. Got to do it. So <laughs> let me ask you, I've, I've, you ever ta talk somebody out of, they're sitting there, they want a tattoo. Yeah. You ever talk them out of it? I have, yeah. I don't do anything that's like racially prejudiced, you know, any kind of hate imagery. I won't do it. You know, I've had people request that kind of stuff, and there's just no way. And you know, if someone has reservations or they're not quite sure about a tattoo, I'll uh -huh. try and you know you, you discourage. You kind of become it. a tattoo yeah. counselor at that yeah. point. Yeah, you know, it's it's few and far between. Most people, you know, really know what they want. But I see a lot of symbols sometimes. I mean, if you, in the past few years, people get tattoos or something in Chinese or mm -hmm. in symbols, and then they end up 
finding out yeah. it says like dog or something <laughs> random and I mean, have you ever had that with any people? I've had Never people have. that said, I'm not sure if this is correct. And I go, well, you need to make sure. <laughs> yeah. Or people yeah. are like, I think that's my kid's name. And I'm like, you got to find out. I don't yeah. know how to spell your kid's <laughs> name. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got, a, we got a, a graphic image here. Now, this is some of your work. This is some of your prize winning work here. That's beautiful. Uh, describe that to us. It's a muerto skull and then some traditional uh, roses and traditional swallows. Yeah, it's a lower back beautiful. tattoo. Look at this one. Color. That's really neat. Thanks. That's, that's amazing. A, thank you. The color. Yeah, it's kind of a weird Is zombie horse. Is that on horse. some guy's back? That's a side panel. That's a big, big uh, rib cage panel on a guy named Paul, a good buddy of mine. Wow. Tattooed him for years. He's a really, really good guy. What? How long did it take to do that? Know, that's, that's about 10 hours, I think, because there was really? a multiple sessions. You know, you do the outline of a tattoo first, and then you do the shading, and then you do the color. So on something like that, you need to break it up. You know, on something like Siobhan's, you can do that on one, one sitting, obviously, because it's smaller. But How long does that take? Well, that takes about half hour, 40 minutes. We were yeah. just Is talking right? about green chili, red and chili. Just chatting. <laughs> and just chilling and What you. an interesting <laughs> business you have, and where do you see it going? Boy, I don't think there's any, any breaks being applied to where tattoos can go. You know, I really think this industry is changing. There's, there's the downside of it with all these reality TV shows that have nothing to do with reality, right. you know? Because they go in and they're like, oh, I need this back piece drawn up. And five minutes later, they've got this back piece, which yeah. has nothing to do with reality, you know? Yeah. And this conjured up drama. But aside from that, I think that the, the tattoo as an art form is being pushed, detail, color work mind-boggling, you know, the realism and stuff that's happening yeah. now is amazing.